What's going on guys, TTL here. Today I'm going to be going over my top five NBA plays for today. Today is Tuesday, November 21st, 2023. Um, again, I appreciate all the support on the last video, guys. Make sure you're hitting that like button and leaving a comment for your chance to win that free month of VIP. Every 100 likes, we're giving out a free month of VIP. Everyone's been contacted. That's one previously. Um, but guys... 73% of you, this is the last video that I uploaded as well. 73% of you are still not subscribed. So you need to hit that subscription button. You need to hit that subscribe button. Um, I post picks every single day. We went four out of five yesterday, four out of five the day before. Unfortunately, three out of five the day before that. But we're due for that five out of five. Let's kill it today. Um, I do appreciate all the likes, all the comments, and all the subscriptions, but 73% of you not being subscribed is crazy, guys. Um, we're at 10.3 thousand subscribers right now. The goal for this year is 12.5, so let's reach that number. Let's keep on crushing it, and if you guys are interested in VIP, I'm going to leave that same deal. We did profit yesterday, so no refunds were sent out, but if you join VIP today, it's $20 a month. If you join that VIP, join the Discord and connect the accounts so you get all my picks. If we don't profit over today, I will give you a refund tomorrow of that $20. So it's a money back guarantee for the VIP. Super confident in today's picks. We have some Counter-Strike posted. We have NBA. Um, we're just going to continue to crush it, guys. I post slips for prize picks, underdog, sleeper, better. I do um, sportsbook bets. We do VIP watch parties. Um, VIP only giveaways. There's just tons of value there for just $20 a month. Um, again, I really appreciate you guys. And if you guys are interested in that, go sign up using the Patreon link in the description. But let's get into these actual picks, guys. That's what we're all here for. Um, I am confident in a lot of these picks. So we'll go in order of most confident to least confident as always. And let's get into it. So one of our top picks of the day is going to be John... Collins over nine and a half rebounds and assists. This can be played on prize picks, underdog, sleeper, better, wherever you want to play it. He's versus the Lakers tonight. We can see this is minus 133 odds on a sports book on Caesars. Um, there's no data for FanDuel or DraftKings yet for this prop. It is only six in the morning, so that's kind of to be expected. Um, we can see in the head-to-head -head matchup, there's no data. In 2023, he's gone over this in 9 of 13 games, 69% of his games. Um, he's averaging 32 minutes per game. Um, last game, he actually played 43 minutes because it was super close. Um, but he's averaging 32, 33 minutes per game pretty, uh, pretty consistently. He's averaging 9 rebounds per game as well. And um, we can see that... The Lakers rebounds and assists defense, they're 22nd in rebounds allowed, allowing 45 rebounds per game. And they're 19th in assists allowed, allowing 27 assists per game as well. So this should just be a great spot for John Collins tonight. I'm loving this. We can see his rebounds line is at eight and a half. And then his assist line is at one and a half. Now we can see his assist, his assist sometimes he gets zero, sometimes one, sometimes two. With the Lakers assist defense versus power forwards being 23rd in the league, allowing five assists per game, I really think he gets at least one tonight, maybe two. But as long as he just gets one, we do get the value for the rebounds and assists. So as long as he gets one, we're fine. If he gets two assists, we're really happy about that rebounds and assist line. Next up, we're going to take Embiid. So a lot of people were on his 15 and a half rebounds and assists. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you that's for good reason. He's projected to go over five assists, and I have him projected for over 10 and a half rebounds. There's no assist line here. There's no rebounds and assist line here. I'm going to take his over 10 and a half rebounds. I'm still very comfortable taking this versus the Cleveland, uh, Cleveland Cavs. Loving this line today. We'll search up Embiid on our partners at Outlier, and we can see over 10 and a half rebounds. This is minus 120 on FanDuel and minus 125 on DraftKings. And we can see in the head-to-head -head matchup, he's gone over in five of seven games versus the Cavs. In 2023, he's gone over this number in eight of 13 games. A lot of these were super close as well, 9, 9, 10. The non-vig odds of this is minus 145. And he's exceeded this in 12 of his last 17 games at home. 
So loving this, he's averaging 34 minutes per game with 11 rebounds per game. And the Cavs are giving up 12 rebounds per game to centers. And they're giving up 44 rebounds per game overall, which is 16th in the league. So loving this for Embiid, locking it in with confidence. Next up, we're going to have Jarrett Allen. So this was one that I'm a little bit iffy on just because the odds. But overall, when you look at the data, I love it, guys. And this is Jarrett Allen under 22 and a half points and rebounds. Uh, we took this the other day and it cashed for us. In this matchup, I think it's going to cash again. We can see it's minus 120 on FanDuel, minus 110 on DraftKings. In the head-to-head -head matchup, he's going under in two out of three. And then in 2023, he's going under this number in every single game he's played this year. Um, he's failed to exceed this in 12 straight games, averaging 17 points and rebounds per game. And the reason he's so high is because Donovan Mitchell is still out. But he's going under that in two straight games, even with Mitchell out. Um, and we can see that he does get a little bit of a bump. He goes from seven, six and a half field goal attempts to around nine field goal attempts per game. Um, we don't really see any bonus in rebounding at all. Just kind of two more shots per game. I don't think he's going to get there today, even with Mitchell out. And we can see the 76ers points and rebounds. They are fourth in rebounds allowed overall, 13th in points allowed overall. And then versus centers, they're actually second in rebounds allowed, ninth in points allowed. So against centers, they are absolutely amazing. Their defense is crazy good. I don't expect Jared Allen to be able to do anything today. I'm locking in the under 22 and a half points and rebounds with confidence. Next up, we're going to have Franz Wagner. And we're going to take his over four and a half rebounds. If you're on sleeper, I also like his under three and a half assists. You can take either one, but I do love both of those. We're going to take his over four and a half rebounds here, though. We can see this is minus 132 on FanDuel, minus 125 on Caesars, and minus 115 on DraftKings. Um, in the head-to-head -head matchup, he's only hit this in two of seven. Um, I realize that is a little bit scary, but some of these games are, all of them are pretty much 2022, 2021. Um, one of these games, he only got 0.3 minutes. Uh, I guess he got hurt that game or something like that. Um so there's no really telling for that. So technically he would be two of six. Um, but in 2023, he's gone over this in nine of 13 games. He's playing 33 minutes per game with an average of six rebounds per game. And we can see that uh, Toronto are 18th in the league for rebounds allowed. And they're allowing 44 rebounds per game. So I really like this position for Franz Wagner. And I'm locking it in with confidence. And our fifth and final play of the day is going to be Grayson Allen. And we're going to take his over three and a half rebounds versus the Trailblazers. So we'll take a look at Grayson Allen right here. Over three and a half rebounds is minus 104 on FanDuel, minus 110 on DraftKings, minus 117 on Caesars. We can see in 2023, he's going over this in nine of 13 games. And the Trailblazers are really terrible at giving up rebounds. 26th in the league for rebounds allowed overall. 29th in the league. Um versus his position, allowing 10 rebounds per game. So he's averaging 32 minutes per game. He does have one off game where he went 20 minutes only, but he even got four rebounds in that matchup as well. So I'm loving this matchup for him. We can see the games that he went under were versus the 76ers, who are known for not giving up many rebounds. We just went over their defense. And then we have the Timberwolves, who also do not give up many rebounds. So I'm loving this, and the Jazz do not give up many rebounds. So, I mean, I'm just loving this overall. Um, versus the Trailblazers, he should have no issues getting three and a half rebounds. If you can take it for minus 105 on a sports book, I'd really love it at that number, but I'm locking in this with confidence. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, hit that thumbs up button, guys. Every 100 likes, we're going to pick a comment to win a month free of VIP. So make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment. And I think I'm going to start picking all the winners on the videos themselves so that it's actually like proven that I'm picking winners. Um, I think I'm going to start doing that. So starting tomorrow, I'll pick the winner from today's video on, on video just so everyone can see who won. But um, I have been DMing everybody that's won. So make sure to check your YouTube, um, I mean your Discord DMs. And make sure to uh, check your YouTube comment because I usually respond with, hey, you won the free month of VIP. So make sure you don't have any responses to your comments. Make sure you don't have a Discord DM. 
And yeah, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button. 73% of you not being subscribed is crazy, guys. Like, come on, we're uploading every single day. It's been like two months straight of daily uploads. We're gonna keep crushing it. Let's end the year off strong, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.